A big move by Target has a lot of people talking. The retail giant announced it's getting rid of signs that identify certain sections of its stores as being geared toward boys or girls. Cheyenne Cope is live in Roswell where people are split on the idea. Cheyenne? Yeah, Kim, we talked to a lot of different people with a lot of different opinions, some loving the idea, and some saying that it's just another example of over-the-top political correctness. An announcement made by Target last week has people talking. I think it's a sign of progress anyway. The retailer announced Friday it's doing away with gender-specific signs in some children's departments. A statement released by Target says, over the past year, guests have raised important questions about a handful of signs in our stores that offer product suggestions based on gender. Critics hammered the store, saying who is Target to suggest which toys and colors are for boys or girls. The sign changes will affect the toy, home, and entertainment departments. The company says the kids' bedding area signs will no longer feature suggestions for boys or girls. Same with the toy aisles. That includes the use of pink, blue, yellow, or green paper on the back walls of the shelves to indicate gender. These changes should take place in the next few months. We went to the Target here in Roswell to find out how people felt about the change. Some were all for it. Yes, I think it's a good thing, and I'm all in favor for, of it. I truly think it's a good idea. I don't think that gender really has any specific place really anywhere in most cases, especially in stores. And some have strong opinions against. I'm just fed up with everybody being politically correct. It's wrong. And then there are people who just want an idea of where they're going. Because I have a great grandson and a great granddaughter, and I like things to be quick, easy, and efficient. And I don't like the idea of changing it. Now, right now, that's only affecting those three sections of the store. Target says they understand that some things like clothing do need gender-specific signs because they come in different sizes. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Cheyenne. Now, this move was welcomed by many equal rights groups that hope other retailers will follow in their footsteps.